Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, it has dropped as I spoke about last week. Deliana Chase, a brand new legendary free to get champion for every player in the game. This is my free to play account. The same thing's popped up on my main account. And I've just tested a brand new account, which I'm going to show you guys as well. And we've got exactly the same thing. In fact, for a brand new account, which is literally a one day old account, exactly the same thing with the same gear which is um i guess i didn't expect it i didn't expect it at all i was expecting to see the kind of lifesteal gear that you would normally get when you get a shaman so damn everyone's going to be getting like six star legendary and epic gear even if they're a new starter it's pretty damn massive we're going to go in and take a look at deliana in a second i just want to on this brand new account you still get a shaman at the same time on the new account that's actually cool that's cool i like it uh, i do like that a lot it's an addition rather than a replacement there so i just want to see if the promo code works on the brand new account my deliana still not working okay so there is due to be a promo code for at least newer players but currently not working let's go and take a look at her kits and see how much it's going to help us on new accounts so it just says here let's have a look at the the blurb chase the legendary for a short time only we're running a special event where everyone in the game can claim this powerful new legendary high elf for free a spell master of the highest renown deliana is able to break the enemy's resistance preventing them from buffing themselves and allow her team to leech the enemy's life all whilst healing and strengthening her allies along the way to get Deliana, you just need to log in seven times in the next like month and uh, three months, basically two months. Um, day seven, you add her to your collection. Deliana will only be able to be summoned from shards after the event finishes. But because Deliana is not based on someone, it's not like a ninja or a simple, she will go into the shard pool. So for people down the line, it will still be an available champion, uh, which I think is just a better way of doing it because. You know, people are pretty damn sad. They cannot have themselves a ninja right now. Let's have a look at her then. High Elf, she is a force affinity. Some people are saying, is she going to be void? She's not. Look at the balls. Just floating in the air. Electrical, I love it. This is looking pretty damn sweet. So what we got? AoE A1. Nice. AoE Leech on an A1. 50% chance of, of, um, off the cuff. Goes up to 60 if you book her out. Damn, that's actually solid. You know, I, I guess she's probably based on trying to make Hydra a little bit easier for people. An AoE Leech against Hydra is actually massive. You know, just getting your health back all the time. AoE Leech for waves, by the way, is also really big for general content. So people that are newer to the game looking for someone to help them through waves, AoE Leech is where it's at. Plus, because it's an AoE ability, even if you just turned off the rest of her kit, and put her in a stun set she will help people get through waves of content hp based as well actually 20 odd k hp a massive 1200 defense decent speed these are good base stats but the health could be higher let's be honest the health could be higher for an hp based champion which will probably make a quite weak hitting and i'll show you that stuff in a minute a2 then attacks one enemy goes up to 100 percent chance of putting decreased resistance out there for two turns um, if you book her out, 75% chance. If not, becomes a three turn if you book it. If the target is under block buffs, also applies a debuff spread, taking any decreased resistance and puts it everywhere. So decreased resistance on a whole wave, it's, it's kind of really, I mean, you might say, is it an arena skill? It's not really an arena skill, in my opinion, because... I mean, it could be, you could pump her full of accuracy to then land the decreased resistance so that other people can do their jobs. Or you could have someone just apply increased accuracy to your team and do the same thing. I don't know. I guess it's, it's a viable strat in some instances, but she does need accuracy for everything else. So you'd have to pump her full of accuracy anyway to land stuff. But decreased resistance against, again, Hydra really is where I'm thinking it. So, you know, putting out a debuff spread of decreased resistance will then mean that some of your... People that you want to maybe bring in to do damage, like a husk, maybe doesn't need as much accuracy to try and land his provoke, for example. So, you know, it can be decent in places. A3 then, five turns, so quite a long cooldown here, for a block buffs. 
it is actually quite a long cooldown because you kind of want block buffs on you know as close to 100 percent of the time as you can especially if you're talking about hydra but if we're talking about general waves if we're talking about you know faction wars if we're talking about um doom tower waves then block buffs out there for two turns 100 percent if she's booked is solid it's a solid skill now um it's an aoe ability as well so she's going to hit everyone with this so she's got two aoe abilities again it makes her really good for control based sets like stun sets provoke sets uh that type of thing which will add control whilst also doing her stuff heals all allies by five percent of their max hp for each block buff skill placed so we're talking in most cases a 20 percent heal which is okay honestly if it was her max hp this is a much better skill because you know she's hp based you know you're pumping her full of health you control how much health she's going to have whereas having to pump everybody full of health is much harder to do but still a 20 percent heal is pretty damn nice um builds this champion's turn meter by 10 percent for each block buff attempted whether it's blocked or is uh, let me just say this for each block buffs debuff attempt blocked or resisted by the team oh, okay so if it doesn't land i'm thinking of reading this right if it doesn't land then she gets 10 percent turn meter boost for each one it doesn't land on Is that the way you're reading that so again I, I think it's kind of aimed at hydra where you know maybe some heads are just immune or some so or it's i don't know if weak hits would work probably not um, but if they've got like block debuffs up or whatever, then she gets a turn meter fill instead. It's an interesting part, but I don't know if it's a bit too weird for me. Um, anyway, was there anything else here? No. Damage based on HP. And then a passive here. So increases this champion's accuracy by two for every 1,000 HP that she has. So if you get her up to 50,000 HP, which is super easy to do, then she gets an extra 100 accuracy. Damn, that's actually really cool. There's absolutely no reason why, you know, proper people with decent gear wouldn't get like 80k HP out of someone who's HP based if that's what you're building her for. That's an interesting, interesting passive. I kind of like it. Uh, gives, gives you a bit more accuracy. You could even, you either pump her accuracy high anyway, or you just pump her health high and hopefully get a few more accuracy stats in your gear. And then you've probably got enough accuracy to do most content without even putting any type of accuracy gear on her that is interesting i like it and then an active effect here which is on a four turn cooldown places a strengthened buff on all allies for two turns every time this champion's health drops below 50 percent so strengthen on all on all allies is good anyway it's a 25 percent straight damage reduction damn this kit is cool this is a cool support kit so she's not going to come in for a new account and be like your damage dealer. But I tell you what, this is a really great support kit. And the other thing is she, everything she's doing here, at least for an earlier based account, you could do it all at level 50 pretty comfortably. Obviously you would lose a load of her base stats and stuff. So it's not ideal long term, but short term, she could be a level 50, probably could be unbooked and still give you some really good base kind of level support which i like because you know i take my free to play i'm trying to build a clan boss team out right now she wouldn't be like top priority for me for a clan boss because a lot of this stuff is totally irrelevant for the normal clan boss but she could still come into my dungeon teams in a stun set and be a massive support unit for me so damn that's actually pretty cool um let's go into a, a damage numbers here and um see what we've got so thank you, Safira from HH Gaming for getting this done really fast. He's kind of pulled out a bunch of the info. So what we've got here, I mean, HP-based champions are not known for their damage, okay? She's actually got reasonable multipliers for an HP-based champion, but because you don't get, the in, you don't get an increased HP buff um, and it's much harder to buff HP-based damage, generally... The HP base guys only get massive damage if they have some sort of weird mechanic that they double hit. So she's got average across the board in terms of damage. Average means it's in like the bottom 50% of all damage skills for that type. So, and by that type, I mean either AoE 
or single target. So she's not huge damage. She'll be mediocre damage. But honestly, I don't think she's coming into your team. I mean, obviously, if she did damage, great. But she's not going to be coming into your team as a massive damage dealer. She's going to be coming in for the debuffs that she lays and the support that she's going to bring the team, uh, which is pretty damn cool. So look, I think for a login champion, free for everybody, actually pretty damn solid. Um, hopefully the promo code will turn on a little bit later today for those who are new. Uh, so I actually want to see what that's going to look like in terms of what do you get. As soon as I find out, I will let you know. But there you go, guys. Deliana on your accounts. Go and get involved. I've been Hell Hades. I will see you later.